Hey guys, Cassie TV here with another Diablo 4 video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to get one of the most insane elixirs for high nightmare sigil pushing and or for hardcore pushing if you don't want to use the um, cheat death one. Check it out. All right, pinch of poison. Here it is. Pinch of poison. Pinch of poison will tell me to collect scorpion venom glands in Kajistan. And I got 0 of 15, so let's ride out there. And let's do it. So once you're in this area, what you'll be doing is you're looking for the scorpions. It's a bit annoying because they don't, in many other quests, they uh, appear in packs. In this case, they're going to be spread out one by one. Really frustrating, and they don't even have a 100% drop chance. As you can see, I've killed three so far. I'm going for the fourth one, and I've only dropped two. So this will be the, the fourth one I'm going for. And this one didn't drop anything. There's another couple here, though. So once you got 15 of these, you will hand this quest in and uh, you will be receiving a couple of the flasks and you will also receive the recipe to learn how to make these flasks as well. All right, now that you've collected your 15 poisons for the pinched poison quest, you're going to hand it in. And in here, you'll see that you immediately will be provided with extra flasks as well as the actual recipe to now craft these. So let's have a look at it and what mats you need for them. There we go. Found the poison you wanted. Skip, skip, skip. And boom. Cash. Drop in these things. And you should be getting the recipe for this, which I actually remember I already did on another character during the race. Sorry. Uh, this is a curative elixir. Makes you unstoppable for one second. Increase resistance to poison and other negative effects by 50%. Now, this could be used in, in uh, hardcore, but in softcore... This is like great for, I don't know, PvP, I guess. And you can key bind it to your custom wheel by just putting consumables in here, for example. And you can have that for harder pushed endgame when you're getting super CC. Just pop that and just drop in the curative elixir to drop off out of those CC situations for harder endgame content. I think it's a really cool flask. And it's uh, it's a nice uh, little way to play the game and have this additional layer of defense when you're pushing the harder endgame. Uh, so let's have a look at the name of this curative elixir. Uh, if I can find it, where is it? Let's have a look at it. Am I blind? Hello? Why can't I search for it? There it is. So it requires, uh, honestly, very, very easy to achieve uh, materials. Gala wine you find pretty much everywhere, especially if you're running like Heltine and stuff like that. Angel Breath, you get tons of. Crushed Beast Bone is the rare one, but if you're doing dungeons with beasts in it, that comes naturally. Blight Shade should never be an issue. I've been personally blowing those off to get the lower mats when I was upgrading potions on my other characters. But again, the materials for this is very, very cheap to get by. And that's how you make the uh, curative elixir. Hope you guys enjoy this. Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay safe and keep rocking.